one question lang. Direct, anong masasabi mo sa acting ni Janet? Oh, salamat. Hindi ko. <laughs> Basta, inano ko lang yung ano na ako si Patricia. And then, of course, hindi ko din naman pong magagawa yun kung wala din pong tulong nila Direct Paul, nila Direct Yam, ng mga co-actors ko din. Baga lahat po, I think, would always be talaga yung great collaboration po ng lahat. So, thank you po na na-appreciate niyo po yung hard work na may lahat. Ikaw direct. Si Janelle, nung ano, during the shooting, ano, uh, marami kami pinag-usapan about the role kasi sobrang challenging ito for for her. Lalong-lalo na ano, ang daming iyakan na nangyari. So, um, now watching it on the big screen, uh, I became a fan, Janelle. No. So, uh, <laughs> of course, si Ava is here. No? Uh, silang dalawa, uh, with the roles that they were given, uh, challenging yung pinagawa namin sa kanila. Uh, kanina, kinukurot ako ni Ava doon sa taas nung <laughs> eksena nila dalawa. But uh, I guess they were all, we were all professionals and uh, I'm very, very happy with the performance. Sayang wala si Raymond dito. Pero si Raymond, malaking part siya kasi tinulungan niya kaming lahat to bring out the best in all of us. So, kahit wala si Raymond, Raymond, kung saan ka man, sa dyan. Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat. Text, text na lang. Text naman siya. Congratulations daw sa atin po. Thank you po. And we good luck sa pelikula. Maraming salamat. Thank you very much. That was Donda and Sermino of Abandon News Online. Up next, we have Ms. Aster of PM, TikTok, and Inside Showbiz. Or baka nag-CR si Ms. Aster. Okay, moving on. Let me call in Mark Grubador of Entertainment Web. Hi, Derek and Janelle and Ava. Congratulations. Pag-alagod ko kanina na nagkata ko ng Janelle D. Drums. Wow! Derek Paul, congratulations. Pero dahil one question lang, yung question ko para sa most promising versatile Villa Max Superstar. Ava Mendez. Okay. Baby, tatlo pili ko lang mo buong September. Yeah, thank you. Three in a row. Yeah. Three in a row. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, kailan ba namin mapapanood na si Ava Mendez na may solo film show? Yun lang naman yung question. Actually, oh, <laughs> okay. Um, as of now, uh, uh, meron na kami pinag-uusapan nila Boss Big, pero hindi pa namin alam kung kailan ilo-launch. So, hindi pa namin alam kung ano yung concept, pero may mga story na kaming nabuo. So, yan po na aabangan ninyo. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was Mark Grubador of Entertainment Web. Up next, we have Kiko Esquadro of Push. Hi, Kiko. Hi, for Janelle. Hi, congratulations. Uh, Recently, parang medyo nakatulong kami sa social media mo. Parang inactive ka ata ngayon sa social media. Ano yung reason? Gusto ko lang maging inactive muna. Um, I just, alam mo yun, parang nangyayari naman yun sa atin. Like when we work so much, nang dadaretso. Parang we want to just relax and recuperate and... Um, be in touch with the realities in life. Yung ganon. Parang hindi naman ako mawawala forever. Parang ano lang, I just need to take a break. Uh, social media detox, kumbaga. Kailangan, kailangan din po talaga yun. But I'll not, I'll not be gone for too long. I'll be back very, very soon. At marami tayong mga paandar pang nakanda po para sa inyong lahat. Sundutin ko na, uh, meron ka bang pinagdadaanan ng reason? Hindi okay ka ba? <laughs> si Patricia po. <laughs> <laughs> Wala namang, wala naman siyang super duper, like, lalim talaga na dahilan. It's just that I felt na kailangan ko lang siya. Alam mo yun, yung parang feeling ko ang, ang ano ng social media. So, I just needed that. I think, I remember before yung nag-miss, after nag-compete din ako ng Miss Earth, nag-detox din ako after. Parang alam mo yun, yung parang, Rararararat ka, tapos biglang parang kailangan mo lang talaga ng break. And then, when you're back, you're back na mas ano, malami pang mga pasabok at paandar. Siguro last na talaga. Uh, kasi syempre sexy movies yung nagagawa mo. Um, may mga factor ba na may times na parang 
may mga nagme-message siya yun ng hindi maganda sa social media mo. Well, hindi naman mo wala yun na talagang it's it's given na pinasok ko to and uh, expected yun na talagang meron at meron ako mga messages na ganun. Pero hindi ko naman siya masyadong binibigyan ng pansin lalo na pag syempre kung hindi mo naman talaga kilala, hindi ka naman talaga kilala, diba? You don't really need to like reply to all of them. But I appreciate everybody na na nanonood ng mga pelikula ko. It's just that hindi ko naman kailangan silang replyan lahat na, oh, okay, thank you for, di ba, parang hindi yeah. naman kailangan ni entertain ng lahat. It's, it's really given na may ganun po talaga. Kahit naman si Ava at lahat, for sure, nakakatanggap din ng mga ganun. Okay, thank you po. Congratulations. Thank you very much. That was Kiko Esquadro of Push. Up next, we have Sir Eugene Assis of People's Journal and Genius.ph. Hi, uh, congratulations. Uh, medyo gusto ko yung film. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, para kay Direct Paul, um, how is different uh, directing a, a concert uh, vis-a-vis a movie like this? Siguro more than the difference yung mga similarities. Like, uh, if you notice yung my style of directing, it involves a lot of music also. And uh, maraming mga scored music dyan, like yung theme song namin nung Kig Lockdown. But more than anything, I think yung major na pagkakaiba is uh, uh, in the narrative format. So para maikwento ko siya sa isang oras o sa isang oras mahigit, uh, I had to unlearn the things that I know and learn uh, things that I need to do in order for me to come up with the movie. And uh, I'm very lucky kasi po uh, nandyan sila direct yan, uh, nag-guide sa akin. Uh, napakagandang script na binigay niya para sa amin. And uh, aking mga actresses and actors na kasama ko sa trabaho. So, naging madali para sa akin to transition. Alam po. Okay. Since one question lang, congratulations sa lang kay Janelle and Ava. Uh, both uh, pareho sila na mahusay din sa pelikula. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was Sir Eugene Assis of People's Journal and GNews.ph. For our next batch, please do stand by Mr. Mario Dumawal of TV Patrol, Donnie Nicasio of Abandoned Tonight, Alan Sancon of Stars Photo Vids, Archie Liao of Abandoned Tonight, Pilar Matea of Hatao, Bernard Santos of My Movie World. Up next, we have Mr. Mario Dumawal of TV Patrol. Thank you. Paul, uh, congratulations. Malilinis ang shots mo. I'm really surprised now. I think uh mo na paraan ang transformation mo as uh, an erotic director ba? <laughs> okay. And congratulations, uh, Ava and then Janelle. Uh, Janelle, so far, how would you uh, how would you assess yung pagiging actress mo? Uh, I've seen you from the beginning of your acting career and uh, parang ano, no? Uh, pa-intense ng pa-intense, no? Uh, can, can you kindly assess uh, your uh, your growth as an actress and uh, ano naging effect nito sa iyo? Sobrang grateful ako actually um, sa, sa family ko sa Viva, especially kay Boss Vic, na lahat po nang binibigay niya. And from the start, naging clear naman po ako doon na, okay, I'm gonna, you know, go the sexy route. But I'd love to always challenge myself and to hone my acting skills. Kasi pinasok ko to hindi para mag, magpa-sexy lang. But I really wanna be the best actress that I can be. And uh, sa every role nga from, kung nakita nyo yung transition, iba from kabet to gender fluid, hanggang sa naging girlfriend, tapos ngayon asawa na po ako. So at least naging asawa na. <laughs> Lumevel up na, <laughs> From kabet, ganun. So I'm just grateful na pinagkakatiwala po sa akin yung mga ganong project. And for every project talaga, talagang inaaral ko siya. And uh, I really work closely and collaborate with with um, my directors and everybody else in uh, each film that I do. So yun, grateful. Yun yung ano ko ngayon. Parang my heart is just so full na ito ngayon yung first. Actually, parang heavy na parang action also, di ba? <laughs> Biglang napansin ko, oh nga pala, pagka action star tayo, nag-knife nag ano tayo dito. So, I'm just grateful po talaga dito, Mario, sa journey ko na as an actress. Uh, I hope you don't push yourself uh, too much, huh? Janelle. Yes, opo, hindi naman po. <laughs> okay. Alas na lang, uh, uh, okay, uh, the, the background of this uh, film, uh, pakikwento lang muli po, ano, no, dahil uh, swak kay eh, Janelle. Um, ano to, inspired by a real life story from uh, New York. Merong isang uh, 
Sir John na meron siyang asawang uh, beauty queen. Ah, uh, <laughs> totoo yun. So, ano siya, uh, every week or every two weeks umaalis yung asawa niya pumunta sa West Coast, taga East Coast sila. Tapos, uh, sabi magpapaalam, meron daw pupuntahang pageant or ano. Yung pala, hindi niya alam, nagtatabaho sa second uh, work bilang isang escort. So, it became a book. It's gonna be transitioned to a book. But uh, it, it was inspired by this movie written by the Rekiam Larana. So, it turned into a, a screenplay. Tapos, uh, ginawa naming uh, pelikula ngayon na uh, title po ay The Escort Wife. Okay. Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you po. Thank you very much. That was Mr. Mario Dumawal of TV Patrol. Up next, we have Sir Donnie Nicasio of Hataw. Hi, good evening. Uh, para kay Janelle. Janelle, ano yung pinaka-wild na ginawa mo sa buhay mo nang nakaranas ka ng matinding bardong? Uh, ano yung, um, because of wild. boredom, uh. naging wild ako? Mm, parang ano? Paano ba? Anong wild? Like, on what aspect? <laughs> what aspect? So, ano yung ginawa mo? Um, siguro, ano, paano ba? Y wild for me yung parang masyado ka ng... Ayaw kasi din na bubor so parang nagiging parang ah ayaw ko maging bored so talagang gusto ko everyday may work or meron akong ginagawa. I think yun yung parang minsan na sobrang wild ka na nga, you push yourself sometimes too hard in working so much na parang okay, kailangan mo naman mag step back and mag, mag, mag relax so, so I think yun, yun yung pinaka wildest na parang uh, ay, hindi ko kasi kaya na mabore at walang ginagawa. Tulad ni Patricia na parang sa bahay lang, parang walang ginagawa, kawawa naman siya, di ba? <laughs> so parang dinahan mo na lang sa patakam sa mga movie mo sa Viva Max. Oo, oh, trabaho, ganun. Yun yung parang outlet ko din. Na gusto ko din, workaholic din po kasi talaga ako na person. Isang short lang, ah, dito ba sa movie na to, mas pinokus mo yung sarili mo na si Janelle magiging actress kaysa magpapaseksi? Yes, yun naman po, since day one na pumasok ako sa um, pagiging actress, na talagang focus ako sa pag, pag, uh, pagiging actress more than just, you know, showing um, sexiness. And, uh, I mean, it, kailangan din yun, pero like, uh, yun nga yung challenge sa acting at mahon siya. Thank you po. Uh, congrats sa inyo. Pati po sa inyo direct. Congrats. Salamat po. Thank you very much. Up next, let me call in Alan Sengon of Stars Photo Vids. Congratulations, Derek, for your movie. So it was fun and very nakakashock yung, yung last part, di ba? Hindi namin na-expect na yun yung nangyayari. Pero yung may question is for ano, Ava and for Janelle T. Para kasing ano eh, isa sa mga eksena doon na, na yung major challenging on your part is yung kayong dalawa, di ba? That Ava teach Janelle to to be a whore. <laughs> so how was it? Kumbaga, how do you prepare for that scene? And meron bang kailangan on your part? I don't know if Ava nagawa na yung girl to girl or parang first time din. Si Janel, I think nagawa mo na before. How was it? How was your preparation? Nag-usap pa kayo? Uh, yes, nag-usap naman po kami kasi uh, bago namin i-shoot yun, may Pinag-usapan muna kami nila, direct yam, direct po, kami ng channel, kung ano yung mga kagawin namin, yung shot na yun. So, tapos kung ano yung mga restriction namin, kung ano yung mga hindi pwedeng anuhin. So, nakakatuwa kasi si direct yam, tsaka si direct po lang dyan sila to guide us. And then, naayos naman namin na portrait naman namin ng maayos. So, hindi naman kami ganun nahirapan. Is it your first? No, hindi. Uh, parang second time na ata or third time. Thank you, Janelle. Oo, oh, napakagaan kasi ni Ava din. Parang kalug na ano. So, alam nyo naman na kahit nagawa ko na yung girl to girl, eh talagang I'm very open na syempre hindi nawawala dun yung ilang, di ba? Pero, yun nga, um, Ava, Derek, and everybody made it also very, very um, comfortable and safe for all of us. So, Ayun, na itawid naman po na ilaban namin yung eksena, mga eksena namin ni Apa. Okay, thank you, congratulations. Thank you, direct congratulations. Thank you very much. That was Alan Santon of Stars Photo Vids. Up next, we have Archie Liao of Abandoned Tonight. Uh, congratulations, direct Congratulations sa kas kay Alba at saka kay Janelle. 
Uh, ang tanong ko, uh, uh, kung bored ka and uh, you are given a chance uh, to have a double life, what would it be? Uh, kay Janelle muna. Parang kay Patricia. Hmm, parang mahirap naman yung pag-iing. Sigur <laughs> ba hindi ko talaga kaya yun. Double life. Ano bang magandang double life? Um, siguro ano, yung pag-iing, pag-iing si Jonel na lang na simple and then pag nasa stage or nasa camera performer. I think parang in a way, parang may switch pa rin dun, di ba? Na parang ano, um, you're showing a different persona na okay si Janelle, simple, uh, bubbly, ganyan, and then pag uh, performance, uh, whether may be acting, or hosting, or sumayaw, ganun, parang I always give another side of that. So I hope that's considered to be a double life in a way, in a decent way. Diba? <laughs> uh, uh-huh. Hindi ko talaga kaya maging escort wife. Dito lang talaga si... <laughs> Siguro ang double life para sa akin, siguro, uh, yung mga ginagawa ko like every day and then siguro yung dun sa business kasi ever since na bago kong makapasok sa Viva, nagbibusiness na rin ako. Although na nanggaling ako sa uh, politician na family, pero hindi ko kasi to kayon dahil ayoko talaga. So mas gusto ko acting and then at the same time so ay magnegosyo so ay yun yung double life sa akin ay yun yung gusto ko talaga yung gawin thank you okay thank you thank you direct pwede ba si James Bond <laughs> double life eh wala akong maiisip na iba so yun na lang siguro secret agent okay ah uh, ano question last na okay ano kay uh, Janelle ah uh, nasabi mo noon or less may hugot ka na ang pagpapaseksi mo ay hindi tanggap ng uh, uh, mga magulang mo, ano? Uh, ngayon, uh, maraming po pumupuri sa iyo, mga director from Joey Reyes, tapos Paul Bocinillo, at iba pa, iba pa. Sa ngayon ba, dahil sa mga papuring yun, uh, ganun pa rin ang uh, uh, pagtingin sa iyo ng mga parientes mo o ng mga kapamilya mo? iyak ako niya. <laughs> Actually, ngayon, hindi pa, hindi talaga namin pinag-uusapan ho, yung pagpapaseksi ko. Um, mas better na rin po na ganun kasi nga, um, nasa Davao po kasi sila, wala naman sila dito with me. So, hindi talaga nila nakikita or kung napapanood mo nila sa interviews lang na, um, I hope, I hope na they're also proud of me in terms of the acting um, skills na na i- papakita ko po sa mga films. Pero, I know, until now, yung pagpapaseksi, syempre, um, alam ko na hindi pa rin po nila tanggap. Mm-hmm. Congratulations, napagaling mo naman dito. And also, ako kaya kinaray. Okay. Thank you very much. That was Archie Lea of Abandon Tonight. Up next, we have Miss Pilar Madea of Hadao. Uh, good evening po, and congratulations sa ito lahat. Ah, uh, sabi nila, prostitution is the oldest uh, profession, di ba? So, ang tatanong ko din sa dalawang girls, uh, ano yung advice na mabibigay niyo sa mga characters na tulad ni na Chrissy and Patricia? Caught in that on the web. Uh, sa mga makakapanood nito, for sure, I think maraming din talaga makaka-relate kay Patricia, no? yung well of ka, but it's not really all about money. Um, okay naman, masarap magmahal eh, kasi syempre, di ba ganun naman magmahal talaga, ibibigay mo lahat. But, um, I hope na hindi sila dumating sa point na maging tulad ni Patricia, that love can make, hello, love can make or break you, or it can really get the best or worst in you, di ba? So, sana hindi sila umabot sa puntong ganon na masisira sila as a person. Kasi parang sa sobrang pagmamahal nila na sobrang, alam mo yun, nagkalit na and everything. So, yun. Um, sana makita nila yung sarili nila kay Patricia na um, hin- 
na ibibigay nila lahat sa larangan ng pagmamahal, sa pagiging martir pa nga. Actually, in a way, kahit pa paano, na-experience ko na hindi lang maging asawa, hindi lang, uh, ano, parang as a, parang as a woman, kasi di ba, we all want security. So, parang na-experience ko din siya in a way, in a relationship in the past, na parang, um, alam mo yun, yung parang, like, well provided ka, okay naman lahat, pero sobrang babaero, yung parang feeling mo, hindi ka talaga happy. So, what I did, um, hindi naman ako mawad sa point ng pumatay ako ng tao at ano, what I did was I really loved myself and I channeled the love that I gave to that person, to myself. Which, medyo, kaya naging medyo late bloomer ako sa pagdating sa larangan ng pag-arte, sa, la- sa mga ginagawa ako ngayon because I was so focused and giving my all and thinking of, of the person that I love. Pero wala naman ako pinagsisihan doon because whatever it is na inexperience na experience mo doon um that brought you to where you are now and lahat 'yon may dahilan kung bakit 'yon nangyayari sa and you always take the lessons into heart de ba na lahat 'yon may dahilan at naging mas bolder and mas matapang ako and lahat 'yon naging naging tulong na baon ko ngayon sa mga ginagawa ko de ba mas naging uh, mas mature ka in life so sana maging ganun din sila at huwag silang mawasak sa larangan ng pamamahal at huwag sila maghigante tulad ng ginawa ni Patricia bilang Eva. <laughs> so, as si Chrissy, uh, si Chrissy nakita nyo naman hindi naman siya breadwinner, hindi naman siya, uh, tawag dito, wala naman siyang tinutulungan, although yung ginagawa niya as being high-end escort is para lang sa sarili niya, para makaipon siya ng pera, and then makipag-ibang bansa. So, ang payo ko lang, hanggat kaya mong umalis, umalis ka kaagad. And maraming way para kumita ng pera, hindi lang dun sa pag escort Pero hindi naman ako nung judge Ayun po. Your take, Dylan. Um, siguro, advice. Parang ganun. Um, kasi, who, we are, who are we to judge their profession? I think, um, para sa akin, sabi ko lang, is uh, to be yourself and to love yourself. Thank you very much, Bob. Thank you very much. That was Miss Pilar Mateo of Hada. For our next question, we have Bernard Santos of My Movie World. Hello, uh, good evening. Uh, my question is for Derek. Um, since uh, si, uh, Derek Kiam is also part of uh, this film, no? uh, part of the production, I'm just curious kung paano yung naging uh, collaboration no, mo with uh, Derek uh, Yam and also kung gano'n siya ka-hands on and ano yung participation niya dito sa movie na doon? Si Derek Yam kasi, if uh, hindi pa niyo alam lahat, teacher ko po siya nung college ako. <laughs> Direk sinabi ko. Teacher ko siya no, from sa film school. Um, uh, si Derek is uh, our scriptwriter for this and uh, creative producer. Pero pagdating sa pagdidirect, uh, binibigay niya sa akin yung lahat, yung creative freedom. Ang, ang ano lang niya is about the dialogues and uh, yung tama ba yung flow ng characters and all the story. But pretty much, I think he gave me full freedom in terms of uh, the directorial part. Yan po. Alright, thank you and congrats to you. Salamat po. Thank you very much. That was Bernard Santos of My Movie World. And for our, I think our last question, is he there? Sir Joey Sarmenta of Remate. Oh, upstairs. Okay, siguro ang question ko din sa dalawang cast, kay Ava at kay uh, Chanel. Kasi you gave life to the role of uh, an escort. So can you please uh, give us a walkthrough? Kung ano ba ang feeling ng isang babae talaga na na merong iba't ibang partner sa na tuloy-tuloy. Kasi you experience it through your role. Eh. Ang hirap. <laughs> ang hirap kasi kahit na ayaw namin sila, pero wala kaming choice kasi nagbabayad naman ng malaki so trabaho lang. So laban na 'yon. <laughs> Na nahihirapan ka in, in what way? Um, siguro nahihirapan ako sa... sa ano... Oh my God, natawa ako. <laughs> nahihirapan ako dun sa isa kasi uh, 
Wait, oh my god, sasabihin ko ba? <laughs> Nahihiya tuloy ako. Diyot, nahihiya pa. <laughs> so, uh, bago, bago, bago sinabi yan sa akin ni Derek na, ano, na may mga iba-ibang guy kami na Yeah, ano. Sabi ko direct, pipili ako kung sino yung halikan ko kasi yung iba hindi ko bet. So, pag sinabi ko kay direct, direct, okay. Pero pag sabi ko, no. So, direct, okay, okay, game tayo. So, ito, ito, ganyan, ganito ang concept, ganito, ganyan, ganyan. So, ayun, yun naman. So, I'm very happy kasi sabi ko, oh my God, I'm so safe. <laughs> thank you, direct. Si Sa akin wala dead man na, di ba? I mean, as an escort, parang at least magbabayad, di ba? Para, huwag <laughs> mo na masyadong isipin yung ano, basta nagbabayad. Depende siguro sa rate, no? <laughs> Kaya? Kasi paano pa kunyari ang jontot-jontot, di ba? Kahit magbayad ng malaki jontot, oh my God! Hoy, tot brush ka muna! Dapat ano, times 10 yung bayad. <laughs> Oo, may bayad yan pag mabaho, ha? Ah. <laughs> Ayun. Parang, oh, parang the same naman din kay Ava, ganun. Pero siguro yun nga, I think as an escort, yun lang yung iisipin mo eh, yung trabaho mo. Tapos parang, dead ma ka na, parang siguro feeling ko ah, feeling ko eh, parang naging manhid na rin sila. Parang okay, naging routine na lang yung ginagawa nila. And wala na masyadong parang, ah, ano ba to, walang feeling ko ganun na sila. Like, parang okay, next, next, parang ganun. Basta bayad na kayo, tapos na ako, okay, bye, ganun. <laughs> So, wala ka naman naging complaints sa mga clients? At sa shoot na. Oh. Well, me, wala naman na major na wala. O, oh, nagawa naman ng paraan. <laughs> nagawa naman ng paraan lahat. So, okay yun. Thank you and uh, good luck sa mga. Thank you very much.